A few weeks ago, Amberjack was kind enough to send me these boots. Beautiful Chelsea boots in the honey and cream colorway. Finally, I put them to the test, so let's see what they're all about. First of all, I just want to say a very, a very big thank you to Amberjack for sponsoring this video. The opinions of my video are obviously my own. I was not paid for this, but they did send me these boots for me to review, and so I'm extremely grateful for that. Thank you very much, and Blake, if you're seeing this, thank you, man, for all the support. Uh, their customer support is stellar, 12 out of 10. They reply very quickly, they're very friendly, they answer every question I had, uh, they uh, set up all the shipping, no hassle, so uh, I gotta say, um, if there's ever any issues with your order or you just want to get in touch with them, they treat you like family over there, that's for sure. So big kudos to Amberjack for that. So as I was mentioning when I when I first unboxed these and look at them, I said, uh, well, it's interesting, right? There's no pull tabs, uh, as you can see, on the back of the shoe, right? Like that that's a staple in every Chelsea boot that I've ever looked at or owned is that pull tab. So that makes it easier when you slip it on your foot you just hook your finger at the pull tab and you pull it back and you can slide in. These ones don't have it. I said, it's nice because actually my pants, they don't get caught in that pull tab and they can actually slide you know, down the boot on the heel and just rest like they would on a shoe. However, I did find that um, when it came to the time to put them on, it was trickier, quite a bit trickier to put them on without that pull tab. Um, Amberjack uses very strong elastics like these are I'm really pulling pretty hard so I found that you know perhaps when I use them more and over the time they're gonna get a little looser but it's still a tight fit to slide in your ankle and your thumb or your index or however you want to try and grab it to pull back on I find it's easier if I'm standing up I slide my foot in and just pull back like that my, my foot isn't rubbing my fingers so much but um, I gotta say, just to put them on, it would be a great idea to have pull tabs behind you just for ease and, and just rapidity when you're trying to put them on inside them on and not have your finger jammed up against your heel as you're putting them on. And of course, I mean, you can use a, uh, you can use a shoehorn. However, they'll have to be pretty tall and it's, it's not the easiest with a shoehorn because there's a lot of flex with that elastic. Unlike a pair of you know, stiff dress shoes where you just slide your foot on the horn. Uh, these ones will just require a little more finessing, but um, I like the look of it though. It's very clean, love the silhouette. You know, Chelsea boots are my favorite boots because of the silhouette, because of the elegance, the cleanliness. Not much going on, no lacing. It's usually one solid piece of leather on the upper. It's just, as much as I like the look of it, the practicality is not the greatest when there's no pull tab, so I will say that. Uh, the rest of it though, a lot of upsides. So. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the, the foam inserts, right? Uh, these are great, beautiful foam inserts, very padded, very cushiony. Um, you've got some great arch support here. Okay, it almost feels like you're wearing uh, a pair of, you know, sneakers or Reebok running shoes. These are extremely comfortable as soon as you put them on. There's literally no uh, break-in period for the sole. You don't have to worry about your foot molding slowly through a cork bed or having to deal with a stiff metal shank in your shoe. These are literally just uh, like a pair of running shoes, right? You just you put them on and you go outside and you're good to go. Um, the first thing I noticed when I was wearing them was, was just how light these boots are. They're incredibly light, you know, because of that construction with the cemented sole, their own proprietary sole. You save a lot of weight without having all of the, the, the stack leather, the metal shank, the um, cork bed. That's a lot of weight. It's very stiff. It's very heavy. It makes for wearing new boots for a long period of time pretty uncomfortable, especially when they're new. So the breaking period is, this is the shortest breaking period I've ever had with any leather, leather shoes, even sneakers. The only, you know, stiffer points I had was you know around the heel and the toe box of course which you're still dealing with a full grain triple-a leather upper so um, beautiful leather upper full grain leather lined on the inside of course so um, you know you're not skimping out on any quality here they, they went with beautiful uh, leather great elastics a quality sole their own proprietary outsole here which has plenty of grip for me um, I find it's, it's, it's very flexible, right? Like not many leather boots, you can flex this easily. 
And just again, right, the comfort, the ease of use, and the versatility. Like these are very, um, these are very casual take on on the most formal boot you can have out there. So you're great. You, you know, you're good to go with if you want to wear these in school, college, in the office, on a date, just going out running errands throughout the day. You want to look stylish, but you want to be comfortable. These are the ones for you. Um, you know, Amberjack, they say it's 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 uh, the new technology, it's the new approach to uh, casual uh, to casual footwear with, you know, still your, your classical timeless designs, uh, good for uh, the boardroom and good for the boardwalk and everything else in between. Uh, honestly, again, I'm very impressed with what they've done. They have a partnership with Aaron Rodgers. So Other than that, I think uh, they just they hit the nail on the head with these. A very interesting design, a casual take on your timeless classics um, with comfort, versatility, and ease of use in mind. Again, right, fully waterproof, cemented, rubber sole, their own proprietary sole. Still have your traditional classic full grain upper leathers. They'll be great for uh, many years to come. They're going to develop a nice patina, a nice shine as you wax them or you add your own polish uh, they're just going to get better with age as with all natural leather right uh, the elastics are very strong very durable i'm sure they're going to hold up to the test of time the only thing i would add is uh of course the pull tabs on the back just given that these are chelsea boots if you're looking for some loafers uh, just dress shoes um, they have several different other styles so definitely check them out on their website um, and again they just hit that beautiful sweet spot of around 180, 160 to 200 dollars. Uh, under that 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 200 dollar mark, you get a great amount of value uh, and a great amount of uh, ingenuity, right? There's a lot of competition at that price point, but this is a company that really takes their their own sort of path in this very competitive market, and it's it's good to see that not only are companies, it's great to see that not only are companies wanting to innovate and, and um, you know, fighting against each other to see what they can bring to the table for that same price point, but uh, they're also doing it in a way that uh, is conscientious about the end user, right? You want a product that looks good, feels good, and also works good. And I think Amber Jack has answered all those three questions. Um, and uh, yeah, also, can't forget, right? Always good to mention they include a nice bag, so that's very nice. I'll have to see that, especially again for this price point. Um, they don't have to, but uh, they do, and it's always appreciated. So yeah, overall, very pleased, very, very pleased with these boots. Uh, definitely gonna keep wearing them as the fall is upon us, even though it's 35 degrees right now, somehow. Uh, but uh, thank you again, Amber Jack, for sending these in. I really appreciate it. You guys are my first sponsor, and that is very special to me. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Comment down below. If you've picked up a pair and you want to discuss, let me know as well. Comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.